Good morning, children. Welcome to all four C learning classes. This is zoology subject. The session number eleven. <clears throat> so, urine formation in which the reabsorption as well as the the tubular secretion, glomerular filtration we have seen as a phase wise glomerular filtration, selective reabsorption, tubular secretion we have discussed. Now. the hypertonic urine how does it formed is uh, the topic now we'll, we are going to discuss that is nothing but a mechanism of concentration of the filtrate we discussed that the renal tubule uh, where the bowman's the renal tubule while the filtrate that flow through the different parts of the renal tubule where selective reabsorption as well as tubular secretion takes place as the filtrate formed by the process called glomerular filtration or else the ultra filtration the filtrate uh, that is formed by glomerular filtration subjected to selective reabsorption in the different parts of the renal tubule that is in the pct we discussed that the filtrate uh, become isotonic to the blood plasma then in the descending limb of loop of henley it become the hypertonic the concentration progressively increases towards the hairpin band and again in the ascending limb of loop of henley it become uh, the hypotonic and in the case of the dct distal convoluted tubule it again becomes the isotonic and in the collecting duct it become the hypertonic to blood plasma this is how hypertonic urine is formed the main reason behind this is the role played by vasa recta vasa recta and uh, loop of henley is a uh, loop of henley's the major role in the formation of the concentration of the filtrate the hypertonic urine formation is because of the role played by vasa recta loop of henley and uh, the interstitial fluid interstitial fluid is what a playing vital role now let's see how does uh, the mechanism uh, of the filtrate mechanism is uh, the formation of concentrated urine how the concentrated urine is formed is now we'll discuss that is mechanism of the concentration how the filtrate become concentrate uh, is now we'll discuss which is can be explained by a process name it to be the counter current mechanism which is influenced by vasa recta loop of henley's interstitial fluid so the selective reabsorption is the process where at pct 70% almost all 70% of water and electrolytes are absorbed for which the pct is uh, with the cells for uh, active and uh, the passive transport we discussed so this is because of the microvilli and mitochondria water of a large extent uh, and the electrolytes are absorbed besides that the nutrients are uh, absorbed point to remember is the filtrate that is formed at the bowman's capsule is uh, far more dilute than that of the hypertonic urine that is uh, formed at the collecting duct that is the hypertonic urine uh, that is formed at the collecting duct is with more concentrated meanwhile what happened that is the filtrate that is formed in the bowman's capsule includes all necessary substances and unnecessary substances nutrients minerals and the water of large extent uh, which are useful for the body are present in the filtrate that is formed by ultra filtration this 
filtrate which is with both uh, the useful and non useful or is uh, useful and unnecessary substances are present the water is essential for the body and minerals next nutrients are part of the filtrate which are useful that are what absorbed as a part of this uh, in the pct sodium glucose amino acids are absorbed by active transport next water by simple diffusion or else passively then additional to this hydrogen ions and uh, the hippuric acid creatinine ammonia potassium are secreted into the tubule this causes the isotonic uh, concentration isotonic fluid in the PCT then the D the loop of Henle is with the two limbs of parallelly running that is descending and ascending where as it progressively move the water of large extent is absorbed so progressively it increases concentration then ascending limb is with the, the water which is impermeable for water but a large extent of sodium chloride water is absorbed so ions go out but water remain in it so in the ascending limb since it is impermeable for water uh, the concentration decreases then in the descent a distal convoluted tubule where the facultative reabsorption that is by hormonal influence regulated and uh, the conditional reabsorption of water uh, by adh or vasopressin and uh, the sodium reabsorption by aldosterone takes place so again in the dct it become isotonic then uh, collect the dct lead into collecting link, uh, collecting duct collecting duct is the part where the conditional reabsorption of water and the conditional uh, reabsorption of uh, ions takes place besides that some amount of the urea water reabsorbed from the collecting duct into the interstitial fluid the same is uh, discharged into the ascending limb of fallope of Henle this is how hypertonic urine is formed is what we discussed how it is mainly by counter current mechanism generally counter current in the sense opposite flow let me clear you that loop of henle two limbs are including the descending limb this is the descending limb whereas this is the ascending limb the descending limb is the one in which uh, the primary urine or filtrate flow, flow from uh, outer medulla to inner medulla we know very well pct dct are present in the cortex and the loop of Henle collecting duct in the medulla. So, the concentration from uh, the descending limb in which the primary urine flow from outer medulla to inner medulla. Look at here. This is how it is flowing. The arrow mark indicates uh, the flow of the filtrate. So, in descending limb from uh, outer medulla to inner medulla. Right? The descending limb in which the urine flowing from outer medulla to inner medulla this is the medulla region so this becomes the outer medulla outer medulla to inner medulla it is flowing the same thing if you observe in the case of ascending limb where the urine the filtrate is flowing from inner medulla to outer medulla parallelly running limbs but opposite flow is it right or not yes that is counter current flow in a opposite direction the same thing we see in the case of the vasa rectum we have discussed the role played by vasa recta and peritubular capillaries that is the blood supply to the renal tubule is by the efferent uh, renal arteriole which is expanded over the different parts of the renal tubule that is at PCT and DCT in the form of a peritubular capillary net and uh, at the loop of Henle vasa recta diagrammatic convenient I have drawn like this however the diagram is of like this we have discussed 
we have seen uh, that is uh, the diagrammatically the expansion or distribution of a uh, vasa recta is uh, in this form we have uh, seen already and this lead to the renal venule is it right so vasa recta this is the network of capillaries in the loop of henle region where the two limbs are present this is the descending limb and this is the ascending limb how do you consider it is a descending or ascending if the blood in vasa recta blood flows if the blood flow from a outer medulla to inner medulla this is the descending limb here the filtrate flow from outer medulla to inner medulla is a descending limb the same thing here and in vasa recta the another limb that is the ascending capillary where are the blood flow from inner medulla to outer medulla so this is counter current flow and uh, opposite concentration let me clear you just now we have discussed from outer medulla to inner medulla progressively the concentration in the descending limb increases why that is water reabsorption takes place is it right addition to that the ions are added so progressively from outer medulla to inner medulla in the descending limb of loop of henle concentration increases right next it takes the hairpin bend and forms the ascending limb which includes the thin segment and thick segment it is entirely impermeable for water but permeable for the electrolytes large extent of uh, the sodium chloride uh, from uh, the ascending limb of uh, loop of henle reabsorbed into the interstitial fluid so progressively water remain in the ascending limb but ions are reabsorbed so progressively in the ascending limb from outer from inner medulla to outer medulla decreases look at here diagrammatically also we are representing that in the descending limb of loop of henle in the outer medulla it is the concentration of the filtrate 300 moles osmolarity per liter 400 osmolarity 600 800 1012 what does it indicates it indicates progressively in the descending limb the concentration is increasing because of water reabsorption right next uh, the case with the ascending limb look at here the urine is filtrate is flowing from the inner medulla to outer medulla and uh, the concentration since it is impermeable for water the concentration become hypotonic why water remain in the filtrate but uh, sodium chloride uh, ions electrolytes are reabsorbed so concentration decreases progressively from inner medulla to outer medulla look at here it is 1000 800 600 400 and 300 progressively it is decreasing is it right so opposite flow opposite concentration this is nothing but counter current mechanism this counter current mechanism is mainly by sodium chloride and urea this is a what playing a vital role counter current mechanism in the sense of opposite flow opposite concentration in the parallelly running limbs let's see how about in the vasa recta vasa recta is the network of capillaries at uh, the loop of henle name it to be the vasa recta it is with the two capillaries one descending capillaries this is a descending capillaries and uh, this is a uh, the ascending capillary ascending how do we refer this is 
as the blood flow from uh, outer medulla to inner medulla is the descending capillary and uh, the blood flow from uh, inner medulla to outer medulla is in the ascending capillary these are parallelly running what is the flow of the blood opposite flow in a descending capillary from outer medulla to inner medulla in a, the ascending capillary inner medulla to outer medulla the role of the vasa recta is to take away the all the solutes and the water from the interstitial fluid that is counter current uh, multiplier system can be explained by the close proximity of loop of henle and vasa recta as well as opposite flow opposite concentration is what name it to be the counter current multiplier system i repeat counter current multiplier system in the sense the close proximity look at here the loop of henle and vasa recta are they situated in a close proximity or not yes they are very together and uh, parallelly running limbs but opposite flow opposite concentration opposite flow is this and how the opposite concentration lets find out that is counter current mechanism is mainly by sodium chloride and urea let's see that is the ascending limb is uh, the ascending limb of loop of henle and the descending limb the descending limb of uh, loop of henle is close proximity with that of ascending capillary of the vasa recta is it correct or not look at here this is the descending limb and this is this is the vasa recta means the descending limb of loop of henle is close proximity to that of the ascending capillary of the vasa recta now the ascending limb of loop of henle is close proximity with that of uh, the descending capillary of uh, the vasa recta look at here arrow marks indicates uh, the flow of the filtrate and the blood the descending limb of loop of henle in which the blood you filtrate flowing from outer medulla to inner medulla and uh, that's what this is the descending limb which is close proximity to the top the ascending capillary of vasa recta why it is the ascending capillary blood is flowing from uh, inner medulla to outer medulla this close proximity causes uh, the diffusion of ions and uh, urea let me give you the evidence how the counter current mechanism works in formation of concentrated urine which is mainly influenced by the parts name it to be the vasa recta loop of henle and interstitial fluid this is because of the sodium chloride and urea let's see one point to remember that as the water go on the counter current mechanism play key role in the absorption of water from different parts of the nephron into the interstitial fluid do you agree or not yes why at uh, the pct we discussed about 70% of electrolytes and uh, water is reabsorbed is it right yes and also in the descending limb which is permeable for water but almost all impermeable for electrolyte right so here large amount of water at the pct as well as uh, the some amount of the water in the descending limb into the interstitial fluid taking place how how does the water diffuse main region is always water move from lower concentration to higher concentration so counter current mechanism play key role in uh, increasing the concentration in the interstitial fluid what do you mean by interstitial fluid 
the fluid that is present in between the nephrons of the kidney is interstitial in between in between what nephrons that's what interstitial fluid which is of a uh, two types medullary fluid and the cortical fluid right so the counter current uh, multiplier system play significant role in increasing the concentration of medullary fluid so what if the medullary interstitial fluid concentration increase water move from uh, the filtrate into the interstitial fluid is it right or not just now i told you water move from lower concentration to higher concentration so the water go on uh, absorbed from uh, the filtrate into the interstitial fluid this is how as the water reabsorbed finally at the collecting duct the concentrated urine is formed this is what uh, the role played by counter current mechanism which is by sodium chloride and urea how let's see we have already discussed uh, that is the interstitial fluid the role played by counter current mechanism is to increase the concentration of inter medullary interstitial fluid that is the sodium chloride of a large extent reabsorbed from the filtrate into the medullary interstitial fluid is it right or not right ascending limb is impermeable for water but highly permeable at the thick segment it is highly permeable for sodium chloride so large extent of the sodium chloride is reabsorbed into the medullary interstitial fluid what happens this causes increasing in the concentration of medullary interstitial fluid this causes the diffusion of water from different parts of the nephron into the interstitial fluid and this causes the formation of hypertonic urine so that is the role played by sodium chloride the second one is urea we discussed that from collecting duct some amount of the urea from collecting duct some amount of urea diffused into the medullary interstitial fluid the same is discharged into the ascending limb of a thin segment of the ascending limb is it right or not yes the same urea as it flow the ascending limb of loop of henle then into dct then collecting duct then it is released into the interstitial fluid this cyclical flow of the urea leaves some urea in the medullary interstitial fluid this causes increasing in the concentration of medullary fluid when uh, medullary interstitial fluid concentration increases water reabsorption of high extent takes place from the collecting duct into the medullary interstitial fluid this is how in the collecting duct hypertonic urine is formed that is what counter current mechanism counter current mechanism in the sense the system where the two limbs of the lobe of henle and the two limb two capillaries of ascending and descending capillary of vasa recta oppositely flow opposite concentration this is counter current mechanism how it is take place by means of a sodium chloride and urea why generally the more the water that is absorbed into the medullary interstitial fluid so concentration in the medullary interstitial fluid increase results in the reabsorption of water from different parts of the nephron into the interstitial fluid so finally at the collecting duct by hormonal influence also we discussed that facultative reabsorption of water edh uh, 
unconditionally reabsorbs the water so large amount of water absorption from uh, the filtrate of the nephron into the interstitial fluid causes the formation of the hypertonic urine in the collecting duct this is how the counter current mechanism mechanism of the concentration of the filtrate by mainly counter current mechanism this is uh, influenced by vasa recta loop of henle and interstitial fluid the sodium chloride that is uh, reabsorbed into the medullary interstitial fluid is uh, increases the concentration one more point you have to remember that uh, the sodium chloride that is reabsorbed from the ascending the limb thick segment into the medullary interstitial fluid uh, is discharged into the ascending capillary of vasa recta why one point to remember i repeat is that the ascending limb of loop of henle is proximal to that of uh, the descending limb of vasa recta right so this is close to this so the sodium chloride that is reabsorbed from the ascending limb of uh, the loop of henle is discharged into the descending limb of vasa recta that flow and again uh, from the ascending capillary this sodium chloride is uh, diffused into the medullary interstitial fluid so this cyclical flow of the sodium chloride here it's a concentration increase in the medullary interstitial fluid the same is discharged uh, into the descending limb of the vasa recta so concentration in the descending capillary increases next uh, this blood flow in ascending capillaries the sodium chloride is again discharged into the medullary interstitial fluid so concentration decreases is it right or not so opposite flow opposite concentration that is what counter current mechanism this finally causes the increasing in the concentration of uh, the medullary interstitial fluid which forces the water to reabsorb from the filtrate into the interstitial fluid this is how as more and more water reabsorbed uh, so finally the concentrated urine is formed this is uh, the hypertonic urine formation which is by counter current mechanism that is uh, influenced by vasa recta loop of henle and interstitial fluid and uh, you may raise a doubt if uh, water go on reabsorbed into the interstitial fluid then uh, its the uh, concentration decreases then how further flow remind you one thing the vasa recta vasa recta are the network of capillaries which takes away all the water present in the interstitial fluid this is how the water content in the blood increases so the hypertonic urine which is formed at the collecting duct is a four times concentrated than that of what uh, we have seen uh, in the filtrate of the bowman's capsule how does this uh, hypertonic urine is formed by counter current mechanism what do you mean by counter current mechanism parallelly running limbs but opposite flow in uh, the lobe of henle which is with a close proximity close proximity with the vasa recta shows the counter current mechanism means the flow of the filtrate in the descending limb from outer medulla to inner medulla in uh, the ascending limb inner medulla to outer medulla that is the opposite flow besides that the descending limb uh, which is permeable for water and impermeable for electrolyte 
almost all so water reabsorbed so concentration progressively from outer medulla to inner medulla increases which can be indicated by 300 moles osmolarity per liter reaches the 1200 is this increasing in the concentration yes from outer medulla to inner medulla it increases then from the inner medulla to outer medulla as ascending limb is impermeable for water impermeable for water but permeable for sodium chloride this sodium chloride is uh, diffused uh, reabsorbed from the ascending limb into the interstitial fluid this causes the hypotonic concentration in the urine opposite flow opposite concentration as more and more uh, sodium chloride uh, reabsorbed into the medullary interstitial fluid water reabsorption from the Infiltrate of the nephron takes place into the medullary interstitial fluid. This is how finally the hypertonic urine is formed. The sodium chloride that is uh, from the ascending lumb of a loop of a that is absorbed into the medullary interstitial fluid, discharged into the descending capillary of the loop of the vasa recta. Again, this sodium chloride that is uh, reached into the descending capillary of the vasa recta. When enter into the ascending capillary, the same thing is uh, sodium chloride diffused into the medullary interstitial fluid. This cyclical flow causes the formation of hypertonic urine. That is the role played by sodium chloride. And another is urea. Urea of some extent from uh, the collecting duct diffused into the medullary interstitial fluid discharged the same urea from collecting duct uh, through interstitial fluid reaches into the ascending limb. The same thing again uh, reaches into the medullary interstitial fluid. Then go back into the collecting duct. This cyclical flow leaves some urea in the medullary interstitial fluid. This also causes the increasing in the concentration of medullary interstitial fluid. This causes the reabsorption of water. Finally, the hypertonic urine is formed. This is the role played by counter current mechanism which is influenced by vasa recta loop of interstitial fluid because of the sodium chloride and urea. Thank you.